Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin is still extending higher. We have seen another all time high. Bitcoin is in all time high territory. Shouldn't be much of a surprise given that I've highlighted to you that as long as we are holding above 74,200, there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever that a local top has formed. And actually we've been watching for this extension to reach 78K next. I can very comfortably see the price stretch maybe even towards 81K. Um, these are the next key upside targets. And it looks as if we could be in this internal fifth wave within wave five of C of three. Um, that's what we discussed earlier today on the larger time frame. In the next video, we can also discuss the daily time frame in a little bit more detail again. I will show it still briefly now so that everybody gets a good understanding of where we are. There are two wave counts I'm, I'm watching, um, as you know, both bullish. Um, my perspective has been for several weeks that we're on our way to 90 to 100K. The only question is, you know, how deep are the pullbacks going to be along the way? I would be very careful with short trades at the moment. Um, don't find them very productive at the moment. The idea is that we are likely in the white scenario, which suggests wave one, wave two already done. We're now in the late stages of a third wave. Again, could take us to 78 to 81K. If we form a top here, then a wave four could be next. Support area for that wave four will be adjusted along the way. As we climb higher, it has to be because the support area for wave four is measured based on the length of the third wave. And then once the wave four has bottomed, the fifth wave to the upside can follow. This would be a proper five wave move. So that's the structure we're tracking. Um, there is even a more extended version in which we could see another four five pattern in wave three, right? So that's the only difference that there could be another four five pattern. Once this rally is in, which would be an internal third wave, we get another four five. It will be difficult to determine the difference between blue and white. But the main takeaway is in the blue wave four, we shouldn't get such a deep pullback in the next um, correction. And we shouldn't anyway. I mean, I'm showing you the lower support area here. Once we see a top, I mean, I can add support for this internal fourth wave. It's a bit too early for that now. But um, main support now is between 60,800 and 66,520. But in the blue count, yeah, it might be okay that this is only the internal third wave of that main third wave, then we get another four five, then the next four five. And I mean, then we might already be in the 90 to 100K region, right? And that could be it, you know, that could be the overall top of the bull market already. We'll see if that, I mean, that is a five wave move. If that's then, one second, if that's the top of the bull market or only a wave one and we get another wave two and then, but then we would escalate a lot, okay? So the next few weeks will be very, very decisive in the crypto sector. I mean, now is the time to be watching it. We even start to see Bitcoin dominance go down. I discussed that in the previous video. So if you're interested in that, check it out. Overall, I think the Elliott wave count is quite clear. We're printing higher highs, higher lows. We're in an uptrend. It's not particularly impulsive. In the subwaves, it is, but it's overall likely a diagonal pattern, which still has scope to extend further. Now let's go back to the shorter time frame. This is the idea. I mean, I'm not showing all the extensions here. I'm just showing here on the one hour chart or 30 minute chart, really the immediate um, support levels that are relevant now. The price reacted to the micro support area again, and we could now be in this internal third wave. We might see another four or five afterwards that could take us into the blue area. Um, I'm not necessarily expecting all of these waves to play out perfectly. We're on a very small time frame here, but the main takeaway is as long as we're holding that support area, there is no sign of a top. Minimally now, I need to see a break below that intraday low at 74,000. 500 to indicate a local top has formed but um yeah because that's the that's the wave too low right and as long as that's holding we can extend higher in a possible diagonal now there is a lot of exhaustion here on the smaller time frame yeah on the smaller time frame but that might just be i mean we've had a bit of a rally right so there it's clear that we get a bit of exhaustion so um there are signs of weakness but it's yeah i'm not suggesting a top has formed yet so it could still extend higher easily. And I'm going to watch for the third wave to form, possibly reach 78K next. That's the update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button. 
leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.